We're going to show you what you can do with this Apple Pencil. Get all the news without using Twitter. And play a classic game remotely. It's time for iOS Today! Today. iOS Today comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether they're working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This This is Twit. Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com, code iOS, and by Hover. Do you have a domain name that truly represents you and your passion? Well, if not, visit hover.com slash twit and get 10% off your first purchase of any domain extension for the entire first year. Hello, everybody. Welcome to iOS Today. I am Micah Sargent. And I am Leo Laporte. Oh, they'll fix that in post. Oh, good. Hello, yeah, Leo Laporte. That, <laughs> <laughs> I've been sewing. I've been sewing. You're my sewing mentor, my sewing inspiration. And I have made a new mask. I have a new mask style. Mm-hmm. I have learned a few things, like, for instance, you know, one of the things with the mask is that the, the backing would come up over the top. I didn't like that. So I'm now rolling Rolling oh, the top, nice. clever, clever, clever. and I'm using. To suffocate yourself. Well, that's another problem. So this is okay. the now the three layer mask I developed in conjunction with the Argon National Labs. They did <laughs> they did a study that said if you combine materials cotton and silk, cotton and flannel, cotton and uh, chiffon. The thing about silk, chiffon, and flannel is they trap things electrostatically. That's how surgical masks work. The blown polypropylene in a surgical mask is in a filter in the sense of of a mechanical filter. It traps it electrostatically. So the cotton, the high-thread quilting cotton I use in the front, traps them normally like, you know, like a filter. And on the back, the silk traps it electrostatically, so it, in, it really enhances the effectiveness of the mask. Plus, there's nothing better than having silk. Really yeah, well. right uh, up against your face. But then I thought, well, what if I <laughs> put a little cotton batting inside? You know, like a, like this is like a square on a quilt. It's, yeah. a, it's a quilt. It's yeah. a little make mini soft, quilt for your so face. You cover up with yeah. it if you wanted to. Yeah. And then I almost passed out when I was wearing it because I realized <laughs> no air was going through it. I was rebreathing my own carbon dioxide, and I literally I got lightheaded. So kids, careful when you make a mask. Breathability is as important as filtration. So are you going to seam rip and use that one still, or no? You just- <laughs> this is my sh- this is my. Short-term mask for quick trips. Oh, I see. <laughs> I figure anything less than a few minutes, it'd be a little brain damage. That's about it. And it was cold this morning, so I wore this because I wanted my face to have a little quilt. You know, though, this would be great for, like, when you're sleeping. If you get a cold face, you can just have a little quilt. I was going to say, tell me you didn't bike this morning. <laughs> I didn't know. You wouldn't want to wear this biking. Anyway, but the, but, the, but the mask that I make this way with – and the other thing is – With a fat quilting, fat square, I can make four of these masks. So I made four exactly identical masks. Wait, four that suffocate? Well, no, I I only only one of them suffocates. I decided not to include the the batting. But I'm now able to mass produce these in great quantity. Nice, great quantity. My mom wants one. I I let her choose her fabric yesterday. Maybe (laughs) once you get your uh, studio up and running from home, we could do a live stream where we sew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're my sewing mentor. You got me uh, started in all of this. I like your mom, really, but I'll, you know. And mom did, too. I'm mom happy to too. help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you encouraged me because, you know, you sewed in your youth. <laughs> I did. Back in my day. Back in the day. So what are we doing today, Micah Sargent? Well, you know, the Apple Pencil is a not 
insignificantly priced uh, accessory yeah. that I often find is little more than a wart on the side of my iPad. <laughs> yes. And so I thought draining what? the lifeblood of your iPad's battery. Exactly. Yeah. It's a parasite. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> and so I thought, you know what? I want to try out some apps that will make me want to use my Apple Pencil more. Good. Uh, and I feel that there may be some other folks out there who may want that exact same experience. And so that's what we're talking about today. It's apps you can use with your Apple Pencil on your iPad. Yeah. Now, I, you know, I'm like you. I it's I rarely use this, partly because I don't have very good uh, mo small motor skills. I am okay. I am not a, an artist. I can't draw. My mom is she's and she uses her pencil on her iPad with Procreate and makes beautiful things. I'm jealous. I am too. I can and of course we know uh, other people like uh, uh, um, what's her name. Uh, who did the wonderful I'm More review of the Apple Pencil. Oh, yeah, Serenity Caldwell. Serenity is very, is a talented artist. So is Rene Ritchie, really. I, I, he doesn't consider himself an artist, but I think is So they're good yeah. at drawing, but this is not, we're not going to talk necessarily about stuff you could do with drawing today. Right. There, yeah, there are some... Um, Actually, you there, have something there, that will help us learn how to draw. Yeah, let's actually start there. So okay. the the first step that I want to talk about, it's called shadow draw. And, you know, this is actually a technique that folks use quite often uh, to learn how to paint, to learn how to draw, to learn. You imitate the greats and you learn the way that they went about making their um their drawings. And so I was going to, you know, that's how I learned when, uh, on a matchbook, it said, draw this at Binky, the owl, and I, you'll get a job, but I never could. Oh yeah. I can remember those. So remember books. those? Yeah. Though this yes. is good. So you could start very simply. Yeah. So for example, I could learn oh, I how to do draw this. a dog. So I'm going to tap start drawing. Oh, it's the circle method. Yeah. Yeah. And then it starts to show you, and then you <laughs> learn piece by piece. Yeah. So, and notice here, they have in, uh, included Pencil Kit, which is Apple's built-in uh, pencil oh, integration nice. that different developers can make use of so that they don't have to add their own custom UI. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, so yeah. it might look familiar to you. So I'm going to use green as my basis, and then I'm going to start to draw the structure that they are suggesting. And now I'll draw a circle, maybe. <laughs> oh, that's the eraser. <laughs> that's why. I accidentally switched it over. And you can see that, yes, I too do not have fine motor skills to, uh, yeah, I'm so great at this. Look at me go. You know, this has a uh, an in-app purchase that I'm, I might have to buy called How to Draw Manga Male Bodies. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is the that. worst dog. Are you drawing a dog? I'm trying. That Leo. is awful. <laughs> Listen, part part of the part of the uh, agreement here is oh, yeah. that we don't no, judge each other's yeah, no skills. judging. No judging. So they have a lot of in-app purchases: human figures, how to draw portraits, female heads, women's hairstyles, male heads, stick. How to draw stick. You wouldn't think you'd need a, a class in how to draw stick figures. But some people are so basic. Let's uh, go back to see how he's doing in the dog. Look, it's coming together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's almost it's almost worse than i thought <laughs> it's got a duck face the only thing is if i did it it would be so much worse so why does it have a duck bill though is how to question. draw wolves how to draw hands that's hard yeah hands drawing are lines and 2d even objects. some artists will one. We'll punt on drawing oh, hands. This is what I need for my mask making. How to draw fashion croquis. Learn how to draw templates for fashion design. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. This says excellent. It says you did what? <laughs> what? Okay. Check it's it's dog, kind. Yo. It's very kind. It's I don't good. know what that eyeball means. I would like to learn how to draw. I yes. really would. The reviews um, are spectacular for this, by the way. Yeah, in fact, this is one of the top sort of uh, learn to draw apps. Now, there are lots of free uh, options within the app so that you can learn. I've downloaded uh, you know, it. I'm going to I'm going to start. To I'm going to start. I'm going to learn how to draw. This is really cool. Oh, wow. look, you can learn how to draw spiders. And if you can see if I choose get course, there are different ways to pay. So you can pay uh, 50 bucks a year to learn ah. to draw. 
or seven ninety nine a month to learn to draw for the at, for the courses that are outside of the free courses. So you get free courses starting off, uh, but you can add some other courses if you would like. The, that is not the free the free starting off courses. They're not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> can you draw a flower? Let's see it, Leo. <laughs> let's see it's a daisy okay okay let's draw that. so i i just copy over what he's doing right mm -hmm. all right it looks like mickey mouse's hand yeah not wow bad. wow this is so exciting the pencil does give you a false sense of confidence doesn't it <laughs> it really does now that's awesome Look at that. I'm going to share, share that. <laughs> Look at what I drew. You can share it as an animated uh, jiffy. I'm sharing it to you, Micah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I drew this for you. Okay. We're going to save that and send it to uh, Micah Sargent. Yay. My very own little animated jiff of a flower, black flower. Beautiful. No, but this is good. I do. I'm. I'm being silly. I cannot wait. I think this really looks great. That's going to be. Yeah, fun. I'd and, love and to do that. Look at that spider. That would be cool. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, you can try it out in the. Oh, there it is. It popped up in Slack, and it is a nice little animation, piece by piece. <laughs> it shows you how it. Uh, yeah, it shows you how I drew it, so you can see how the how the pros work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I can imitate the masters. Exactly. The masters. Yeah. Uh, no, th I think this is a really great app and it's full, 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 full of different, uh, types of, of instruction, including some, I want to show this one here, martial arts poses where it shows oh. human beings and you start to learn how to do oh, as you were like you would in a life drawing class. That's great. Yes, yeah. exactly. So there are yeah. some studies in here as much as there are and including, see, intro to shapes. So you start to learn how to draw shapes and how to add 3D elements to them. Um, 3D torsos, including shading work, uh, as well as line work with that. Ah, the creation of Adam, the left hand, the right oh, hand. That's both the hands, hands are hard. I had a friend who was uh, my college roommate who... Uh, was a wonderful, talented artist. He ended up becoming an architect, which is, you know, a form of that. But he would draw every day, all the time. Anytime he got a free moment, he would be drawing. And I think you have to do that. You have to, the small muscles of your hand, you have to develop, you have to develop the hand-eye coordination, the ability to look at something and translate that into a drawing. All of these skills take a that lot of practice. Is, that last one is particularly difficult. Yeah. And that, that's the, that last one seems to be the part where you have a natural knack and then the rest of it is, no, is you what you learn. learn. No, you can learn it. I, you can I learn you the, can learn yeah. Okay. <clears throat> One of the ways they, they would do that is you would turn your paper upside down and you'd, you'd <laughs> draw upside down to get you out of your head. Oh, uh, and there's all sorts of tricks uh, for that. Yeah. Drawing. Uh, there's a great book about this drawing from the right side of the brain. I think it's called by my mom and these, I can't remember who it's by, but uh, that's a classic and it teaches you, it has lots of tricks for that. If you know what I'm saying. I do know what you're saying. You know what Leo? I'm saying? Yeah. I Betty do. Edwards, and not my mom. I don't know why I said my mom and these. It's by Betty Edwards drawing on the it's, right side of the brain. It's by your mom? My mom, mom and these. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's go ahead and hear what you've got oh, for us, Mr. Mr. Leo. Oh, Mr. Artist Leo Laporte. Well, yeah. one, uh, you know, one thing I, I think... My art is more a photography is what I do because then you take a picture of something and it looks just like that thing. So that's I'm good at that. But sometimes you'll find that your art needs some work. This is a program that I really like. I've recommended it before called Pixel, Pixelmator Photo. Last time I saw it, it was, I think it was $5. It was very inexpensive. Um, but what I love about it is it also works with the pencil and not just for commands. For instance... Um, and actually, I should really, uh, I should undo this one and bring it back to the way it was before I got it. Because if, let me see if I, uh, no, I don't have the, I don't know if I have the original. But this picture had a fence all the way, all the way through it. It had a parking lot over here. And what I love about Pixelmator Photo is this bandage, this heel brush. And you can do it with your finger, but honestly, if you've got a pencil, it really is the best way to do it. Let's say, for instance, we don't like this house 
We just want to get rid of it. With a pencil, you really can heal things just so. Look how look how wow. I mean, look at can that. Can we zoom in? Are you yeah. able to zoom in? You can. To that area? You can. So I, I can see, see I left a little film. bit of the porch there. So we're just going to get rid of some of this extra stuff. And, you know, it takes maybe a little bit more than uh, I'm giving it. But, yeah, I kind of got rid of a lot of the stuff I didn't like there. And actually, this picture was a much worse picture before I got rid of the parking lot, the garage, the chain link fence and all of this. This is in Kauai, uh, where no one is allowed right now. So all we can do is look at beautiful pictures of it. But you can see it's a little easier to do this with the pencil. For instance, that ocean... You can make, with little short pencil strokes, make that a little bit more oceany, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what I do you, know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? I know what you, you mean. Know, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean, <laughs> jelly bean? <clears throat> oh, that's weird. Isn't that amazing? House is no, Oh, gone. sorry. I, I was talking about you calling me jelly bean because that's actually a nickname that I had growing up. Mm -hmm. I know that. That freaked me out. Oh, I'm okay. Actually that's your, why. <laughs> I'm your father, Luke. No. So... <laughs> This is this is a Pixelmator photo, but even if you're not a great artist, and of course you can do the other other stuff too with it with a pencil. But for things like painting, the machine language, uh, healing, the painting stuff like that, this really makes it a lot easier. If you're no, I've really ruined this picture. If you're, I'm going to paint that cloud. Who wants clouds in the sky? Not me. Paint that cloud right out of the sky. <clears throat> it really is a fantastic uh, way to do this is with the pencil. So that's another thing. And it, it's not just, by the way, Pixelmator Photo. I also use a darkroom. It, you can use a pencil. There's my meatloaf, by the way. Don't let your meatloaf. And, uh, and you can also use that. I thought that's what that was. Was that a June oven you were <clears throat> cooking it in? No, just a regular oven. This is an interesting uh, picture of a bamboo that started not to grow straight and then decided, you know what? I like being straight better. So I don't know if there's a if there's a moral there or what, but it's it's the bamboo there's that couldn't certainly grow Certainly a metaphor. Yeah, yeah. That bamboo, that bamboo is really troubled. Anyway, I just, uh, I just, you know, here's social distancing. See, and with a pencil, you can do. I think it makes it a little easier to do some some uh, basic editing and so forth. So. Try the pencil even in your uh, photo editing, in your Lightroom, for instance, in the retouching and your Pixelmator photo. I think the pencil is great for that. Up to you now to make that All right. next app. That next app is going to have Jelly to Bean. be. That's really weird. <laughs> um, yes, because my middle name is Dean. Oh. And so they call me oh, Mike and Mike Dean Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. I have to say it was my grandpa. Who called me that? So that's cute. That's now we'll sweet. go back to what you oh, said before. I didn't mean to make you cry. Um, so sorry. let's talk about Penbook. Oh, uh, what's this? Penbook is very cool, and I think that you're going to like it because it is essentially a virtual or a digital version of the. Oh golly, I can't ever remember the name. It's the bullet the journal, the Bujo. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bujo, oh no, exactly. oh no, the one I got you. I was going to say it's like is that, the Hobo yeah. Nichi. Hobo Nichi, yes. I always forget the name. That's the uh, Japanese because one. Ooh, look at I this. I can. So I've I've made a twit book here, mm -hmm. and this is one style that I can use. But I can switch it to a blank page, a ruled page, a graphed page, dot journal. Uh, cross pattern, uh, make it a to-do list, make it my daily planner, my weekly planner. And then I go in and look orientation, how it's split, everything. And then I can go in and let's say uh, I want to, it's, it's hard to, my, my iPad's kind of far away from me. So I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to uh, write for today's thing. So <laughs> this is very poorly done because I'm not using uh, this on a flat surface right now, but my, oh golly. You, yes. So obviously that this is not how my handwriting normally looks, but we I really just, are. We are really challenged, aren't we? Yes. Um, yeah. so I can write in here, you know, my daily journal. And for those of you who are artistically, um, gifted, it would especially be something quite nice. And then I can say then, you know who loved oh. this stuff? Megan used to love this. Remember she was a bullet journal 
a bujo, bujo. A bujoer. She was a bujoer. And I always said, why don't you do this digitally? But she liked the physical touch of this, right? Yeah, I think exactly. with a pencil, you know, it's pretty close. Yeah. And so then, you know, I could have it like this. I can add more pages if I want to. I can share these out uh, if I'd like to, you know, apps and things like that. So you can make it into a PDF or a PNG in this case. Uh, and then your calendar can be imported. You can change the date. And again, there's all of these. I mean, look, an academic page, a table, scientific, uh, 3D perspective, developer pages so that I can have an iPhone. I mean, look at all of these different templates that could be added here That's so that I could start to sketch out, you know, my idea for an app uh, in this document here. I've actually oh, yes. used uh, this exact for, uh, purpose use the iPad and pencil in a variety of note-taking apps. That's a that's a very good way to sketch out ideas and so forth. Or, yeah. or user interfaces, that kind of thing. This is my idea for for an app. It's called Squares and Rectangles. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it for $9.99 in the app store. Nice. It's a special uh, price. All the way down to <clears throat> tablature, so you can make you know music notations and things like that. And look, even chemistry, very cool engineering pages. I mean, so many different options. It's ridiculous. Uh, this app is available for free with in-app purchases. I've not been confronted with an in-app purchase request yet. So I don't even, you know, I don't know what at what point ends up getting, but look at how much is available for free is what I'm, uh, what I want to note. You can do so much in, in the app for free and uh, have your whole your whole system here. Uh, yeah, very cool. Now, mine is also a note-taking app, but it is something I think particularly useful for students. It's one of the original iPad apps, and it's just gotten better and better and better. Are you familiar with Notability? Notability, Notability. I've heard of it. Yeah, this, I really love Notability, and I think a lot of people will recognize it. it the uh, icon's a little bit of a giveaway. It's a pencil with a microphone on it. Well, look at that. Look at here. Here's a little coding note I was doing uh, in my spare time. And of course, like, <clears throat> you know, this is, you know, any any number of editing programs, you know, a typical uh, notebook program. But one of the things I really love about Notability, and by the way, it's free, but you can pay for things like uh, little scenes and the, you know, and themes and stuff. Uh, it will back up to iCloud or uh, Dropbox. It has a variety of uh, themes, and then you can buy more themes. Let's make it spring, shall we? It really should be should be spring, not winter. Uh, you can also, though, and I think this is the key feature of it, you can record a lecture. <clears throat> and while you're recording a lecture, take your notes. And as you're taking your notes, they'll be tied to that part of the lecture. Nice. So I'm going to press the record button. And now I'm going to say, uh, you know, and as, if you turn to page 12, we page will start talking 12, about the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse. Please draw an acute angle. It's cute. <laughs> uh, 37 degrees. Uh huh. A so, squared plus B squared equals C squared. So a lot of people take notes. And by the way, you can. My handwriting looks better when I zoom zoom back out. So you can zoom in, which makes it easy to take the notes and zoom out. But the other thing that's been going on is this whole time I've been recording. And what happens after you've, you're done with the recording is that's tied to the note. And you can play it back, which is really fantastic. And it will show you the part of the note that was, you know, the note, the written note you took as you listened to it, which really makes it a very useful tool for taking notes in class. Record this the lecture. Ties, yeah. This ties to so many aspects of our memory centers. Yes. That's what makes this fantastic. The yes. only thing that could be done to make this better is if you had uh, an essential oil, you know, next to you. While you're doing this, you could <laughs> then you'd have the scent as well. Uh, so you yeah. can see I'm taking these notes as so. we're talking. Now, obviously, this is the so worst lecturer ever. <laughs> but what does I really tune mean. I re pardon me. What does tune mean? It, it had an option to tune. Um, I can oh adjust the God, frequencies make to make it, it faster. And if the lecturer is far away, I can zoom the audio or or pick it up. This, this is, is incredible. This thing has gotten better and better and better and better. It is a really fantastic. I'm glad you asked about that. I can also uh, project, as you can see. 
via uh, so I can I can watch this on a big screen or project it to speakers and listen to it as I read my notes. For a student, this is a great note taking tool with a lot of more features. I've just scratched the surface, but I would say it's it's kind of a must have uh, note taker. It's called Notability. It's beautiful. It's powerful. It, it does all of the things you'd expect a note-taking tool to do. But that recording and tying the audio to the actual note, to me, is what puts this one over the top. I just think it's a, it's a really excellent. And, of course, it has – I'm using graph paper, but you can choose from a variety of different papers. Uh, I mean, you're, you're – you know, it's, it's very, very powerful and flexible. It doesn't – interestingly, and I think this shows its age – uh, both programs you showed used the built-in Apple Pencil box. Uh, this does not because it predates the Apple Pencil. Uh, but that doesn't mean it doesn't has it's any less capable. It's just as capable. Yeah, uh, in fact, Pencil Kit is for developers who don't want to develop their right. own uh, input mechanism. Right. So I can type text, so I can, you know, my typing is better than and faster, frankly, than my handwriting. So I can type as I'm recording as well. Um, notability it's number. Uh, number five in productivity, yeah. uh, so it continues to rate high. It it's is eight ninety nine, and uh, in app purchases to add. King app, uh, really, everybody should have it. It's just fantastic. Wow, very cool. Uh, up next, I have. I always bop out of the document there. Oh, so this is probably my favorite app that genuinely is for uh, for for drawing and and artistry but I use this one for uh, anytime I'm working on like a woodworking project or some sort of uh, art installation in my home or you know hanging multiple photos and trying to figure out measurements or uh, needing to figure out you know, how many two by fours, how many one by eights and all that kind of stuff I'd need for a woodworking project or something like that. I had to tie a suey sketches. Um, it is as, as you know, there's, there's pixel mater. There's what's the one that your mom uses? Uh, Procreate is the Procreate. king on this one, yeah. There are loads of different ones, but I like Tayasui Sketches because of its simplicity. Um, it really gets out of your way in a way that I've found others don't. And the tools that it offers uh, are, are quite various. And I like the textures. I mean, there's there's loads of reasons why I choose to use Tayasui Sketches, um, including things like changing the graph paper or it's changing the paper that's in the background so you can have this normal paper um, or you can adjust it to uh, make it so that it's, like I said, graph paper. Um, you can change the opacity of the brush. I mean, all of your basic tools that you'd expect from uh, from a an artist's canvas, but the simplicity is what I go back to every time where I can just get everything out of the way. They call it Zen mode and start to sketch. So, you know, if I'm doing measurements uh as i am trying to create it's just very nice and what i found too is that early on before the second generation of apple pencil uh when we were still in the first generation there were a lot of apps that that claimed to use the apple pencil tool but it did not have the responsiveness of apple's notes app and so the the integration just felt a little off. It didn't feel as good. And Tayasui Sketches offered the um, the responsiveness that I was getting in the Apple Pencil app, which I quite liked. Uh, there are two versions of Tayasui Sketches. This is the Tayasui Sketches Pro, and I bought this years ago uh, for five ninety nine. But you can get the free version. It doesn't have as many of the tools. And you can't do some things like replaying the animations as you're sketching. Uh, but the free version is is still very good. This is just adding, I think, more to the process. And you can see there are different types of brushes here that uh, are sensitive to angle. And so they can make all the difference depending on how you're holding your Apple Pencil uh, as you go and sketch uh, whatever it is that you want to draw. So Tayasui. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it shows up on your iPad as just sketches. Um, they, they take off that first part. But it is a fantastic, um, simple and responsive app for doing all sorts of sketches and things on your iPad. Now, we've talked kind of right brain stuff. But what about left brain stuff? You ready to do a little bit of 
for instance, mathematics with your Ooh. pencil? You ever, yeah, tell yeah, me about I got math. a couple of apps that'll show you that. First of all, one I've, I've, I've used for a long time, and I, re I really like. It's MyScript Calculator. I should mention the MyScript folks make a bunch of text handwriting recognition uh, apps. But this one is specifically for doing handwritten calculations. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Are you ready? This is so cool. Two plus two equals four. Wow. What? Wow. What? The square root of nine equals three. Oh, my God. Okay, that's... Now, we can get a lot fancier than that. <laughs> and people need to understand that... Uh, I'm uh, writing this. Handwriting recognition yeah. is not easy. Yeah. No. And, and it's not just, I mean, it's pretty amazing. And you see, I can take an existing calculation and modify it. So I added a, a dot to the 2 and made it 0 0.2. So the 2 times 0.2 is 0.4. And, and, you know, you can go on and on and on and play around with this. This has a lot more capability, including a paper tape history. Uh, you have a variety of different calculators. You can change how it works with a variety of things. You can even make it, and I really like this, left-handed. And as a lefty, yeah, 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 I really yeah. appreciate uh, that. Now, if you want to learn math, this is Microsoft's Math Tutor app. And this is wild. You can take a picture. Don't, don't tell your teacher this. But you can take a picture <laughs> of a math problem, and it will solve it for you. What? What the what? Satya, are x you squared minus 4x equals 5, the classic quadratic equation, equals 0. Solve for x, and then it shows you. But the good news is it's to teach you. So it will right. you, show you how, how it does it, and it actually gives you a graph, which I find is a very much easier way of understanding quadratics. Uh, it, can, it can do all sorts of things. There's a quiz. So this is about teaching you, not about solving the problem. But I have to say, for a a student that's stumped mm -hmm. <laughs> and looking at, you know, and it, by the way, that was a handwritten one. This is the kind you'd see. Here's a matrix math. You'd see this in a, uh, in a book. Same thing. It's going to evaluate it using matrix multiplication, but it will, it will show you the steps. It'll teach you how to do it. So a student who's faced with something like this in a book and says, I don't know what to do. This is really great. It's free. It's Microsoft math. And you can also draw, you know, I don't know of quadratic equation from my uncle, but uh, 2x <laughs> plus 5y plus 9 equals 2. I don't know if it's going to even be able to solve that. I don't know if it, it, well, at least it figured it out, right, what I wrote, right? My handwriting's yes. execrable. It figured that out. And let's see if it can solve it. Solving for x. Here's the graph. Ladies and gentlemen, it did, in fact, solve my homework problem. Ooh. So that's amazing, okay? And, it, of course, you could do this with your finger, but it's a lot better with a pencil. Uh, there is an eraser. <laughs> There's even a trash can for those of you who are not mathematically inclined. This is called Microsoft Math, and the one before that, whoops, was the no, uh, the My, whoa, MyScript Calculator 2, and they've really uh, enhanced this since I showed this to you a few years ago because... That, that that was a pick some time ago. I really like their stuff. So uh, there's a couple more for you, Micah Sargent. We've got I a lot of things it. you can do with this little pencil. Yeah, the last one I'm going to mention, and it's perfect for this time. In fact, it could have been in our last episode, the Zone Out episode, uh, and that is Lake Coloring Books. Oh. It is available for free with in-app purchases. Now, you could go to the store and buy these. But not these days. So, and this is infinite, right? There's, you can get uh, more all the time. Yeah. So there's there's free versions yeah. all the time. You, yeah. you can buy more, but there are plenty of free ones. So, nice. uh, like this one from Isadora, that lets you color in the. Let's see, what's is it a little green? easier to color in the lines? Can you turn that on? Like yes. So yeah. it, this little button up here lets you turn on and off coloring within the lines. I like that. So this is off, this is on, and then I can zoom in and I can start to draw. Oh, and you're doing this with your fingers. Well, no, actually, this is with the Apple Pencil. Of course, you can't see because I'm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, it so it's trying to tell me how to work it, but I've already done the 
tutorial, <laughs> starting tutorial, so I don't know Select why it's trying to tell me to work there. From the it should be able to see, hey, oh, he's got this figured out. And then I can, let's see, change the color. Obviously, oh, look at that. that's pretty. Blue yeah. In the background. Yeah. Ooh. That's really cool. I could change the People love type. coloring books, don't they? And look at that. You see, you didn't go, you, you can't color, you can't color out of the lines. Yeah, which is nice whenever yeah. you are just uh, trying to. So I, I find that my, much more relaxing, <laughs> to be honest. Exactly. I, I, I gave my grandma my, um, my, the last time, you know, I purchased an iPad I and, and got a new one. I gave the last one to my grandma Aww. and she... She likes to had color. some adult coloring books that she got for. Her. See, we have to be careful there. Not I, that you, kind of adult kids. Yeah. Uh, coloring grown books up for grown up coloring. Not books. for. Yes. There's no way to say it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? They're coloring books. That's yeah, all that that's matters. That's all you need to know. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to give her my first generation Apple Pencil whenever I give her this. Nice. Um, yeah. uh, 10.5 inch iPad pro. And so occasionally she'll do that. It is, it's a nice, I'm not usually one, my brain is not stimulated by coloring, but if I was watching a show and coloring, then it could captivate, you know, that part of my brain that wants to buzz around and think about a billion other things. Um, so it's certainly a task that I would do, you know, I could be coloring while I'm, uh, listening to a podcast or doing a podcast even, uh, if it's just audio. And so, yeah, I, I think that people should know about those kinds of zone out things and, and, uh, lake coloring books is one of those. So again, lots of free, uh, portions within the app and then you can pay to, there are a lot them. of these apps, but this one looks like the, one of the better ones. I it's really it's like. one of the highest ranked yeah. ones for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, and doesn't have a lot of gross, you know, pop-ups and things <sighs> like that that yeah. get in the way. Yeah. So. Nice. It is there. There's something about having your iPad in your lap while you're watching TV and having just doing a little coloring. It's like knitting or making, yeah. uh, you know, masks. Making it's masks. Just something you yeah. can do with your hands while your mind is zoning out on Ozark. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect. perfect. Lovely. <sighs> Should we take a little break before we get to the news of the week? Let's take a it's, break. It's time to manscape, my friend. Oh, very oh. well. You know. I talk about this a lot. Ugh. I got the special Manscaped kit here. Uh, just because you're in quarantine doesn't mean you can stop grooming, gentlemen. I know a lot of you have decided that you no longer need to, but Manscaped is here to tell you you do. I'm here to tell you you do. Do it for the loved ones in your life or just do it for your own you know, self-respect for crying out loud. Don't feel silly doing it. It is not a foolish thing to do. It is a very good thing to do. And we've got a great Manscaped deal for you right now. But first, let me show you what you get. Micah, you're surprisingly silent on this. Oh, am I? You don't have I just, to be. Uh, no, I don't. I, 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 look, you'll I'm let me you. take it? This is I the Lawnmower you know. 3.0. This is the revised, updated version of Manscaped's already famous, justly famous clippers. Perfect for grooming uh, those tender regions, the inner thigh, for instance, where you just a nick, a cut, a slip of the wrist would not be welcome. And one of the things I like about this is, first of all, ceramic blades. And by the way, you can subscribe and get updated new sharp blades every three months, which is really recommended. That way they'll never pull. But they also have a new 7,000 RPM motor in here. And by the way, it's quiet. It's so quiet. You can barely hear me doing it, right? But look how fast those little blades are going. 7,000 RPMs. Oh, did you see another cool thing? See that LED light that lights up? Some of the places we manscape, gentlemen, are not well lit. It's <laughs> nice to be able to see what you're doing. It's weird we don't have our little LED lights installed on our body for those not well Exactly. Places. But frankly, the worse lit the place is, the more you need the manscaping, if you if you ask me, right? Yeah. So yep. take advantage of this. This is beautiful. It has a guide. You can take it off, of course, if you want to really get in close. Then the guide, <laughs> the guide is nice because the guide, you can have... It's adjustable. It's adjustable. So you have a couple of settings. If you... I personally, I mean, this is just a personal preference. I'm not looking to go nude here. Bald, I, yeah. I don't want to be bald. I just want to be clean. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I usually set this guide uh, fairly long. So just so it's, 
you know, you, you look like a grown up, but you look like a grown up who takes care of himself. Is that a good way to put it? That's beautifully put. The other yeah, thing because... I like, this is the USB charger. That makes it always ready and available. I have that right next to my sink. So if I see a stray hair, man, I can leap on it and get it all fixed up. I love this. Now, this is this is the Manscaped, they call it the Lawnmower, very aptly. And this is their third design. So the Lawnmower 3.0. But when you go to Manscaped... I wanna, before, before you move on, I do yes. want, I just got a note. Uh, so I got my partner one of these. And oh, one, what a nice gift. Right? And one did, of the he, did he, he take it well? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. he already did it with other tools. Exactly. And he's like, oh my God, this is this a better is so tool much to better. do it with. Yes. Uh, and so I don't want to sleep on the included brush that comes with it. It comes with a little cleaning oh, brush that you right. use for the, the tool. And because it is waterproof, not only can you use it in the shower, but you can clean it very well. So you can, you know, completely clean off the I run it the right under the faucet. The brush, I totally and, yeah, do. run under the faucet yep. afterwards. Yep. It's fantastic. Because you, you do, you want it nice and fresh each time. You manscape, if you know what I mean. Now, we have this lovely manscape Perfect Package Plus Peak Hygiene Plan. And I do want to show you that because... That is extra special. First of all, Micah explained why it comes <laughs> with the special Manscaped newspaper. I thought yes. it was just good reading. And by the way, <laughs> there's some good, there's some really nice design suggestions in here that I. Uh, oh really? Yeah, oh yeah. You, oh. I mean, there's some. Yeah, there's some good ideas. Here's the shamrock. The royal. The royal. <laughs> flower power. Uh, you can even oh, there's, uh, there's a, a little Twitter. Yeah, there's a yeah there's all there's a like button <laughs> but like you explained why you need this and i you know well i told you what i did yes which you know not a bad idea but uh or wait no that let's, was a bad idea let's Your put it this way bad. the birds made some lovely nests the following week i went you out i went out on the deck i went out on the deck <laughs> I can't believe that you did that, but, um, but it's put private. Down, it's not like there's a lot of people out there. Not a lot of people, he says, <laughs> um, didn't generate those papers are for you to put down on the ground underneath you as you manscape, you get to spread your legs and take care of business. I like to go outside. I'm just saying and Leo likes to let I, it fly my, my into the wind. Freak flag fly. But it is, but the newspaper <laughs> is also good for reading. Here's my horoscope. When were you born? Uh, December. 19. I'm a Sagittarius. You are a Sag as am as well. I as well. Yeah. Sagittarius, you may believe you can fly. You may believe you can touch the sky. You might think about it night and day. So imagine yourself spreading your wings and flying away. Perfect. Somehow for, uh, that quarantine. sounds like a song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's always important. Here's Richard's style. It's always important to prune the shrubs. It makes the house look bigger. <laughs> Do you know I what I'm like saying? It. You know, I know what, what I'm saying? saying? It's the I'm extra optical inch down. is what we're talking about. In this bag, you get your lovely... Now, I, I'm i old-fashioned. I bet your granddad called this a dop kit. I do, too, because right? I'm a shaving granddad. kit, though, right? I mean, I, it's a dop kit it's to me. It's a dop me. kit. It's very nice. You'll get that. Oh, and you also get some uh, the uh, crop preserver... Uh, For a quick touch up before. Yes, you don't want your shrubs to smell uh, like berries. And then, <laughs> I don't know what that means. And the reviver, which I haven't had the nerve to use. Oh, really? Have you it used the reviver? very good, yeah. So, so it's I really actually... just for more like a, a pick-me-up. When I get out of the shower, actually, I will spray that in Ooh. my shrubs and berries. It's region. nice and manly. Yeah, it's and nice. it's uh, it's a, it's a little bit astringent in a good way. Right. So they call it a toner. Yeah. There you go. A toner. Toner. Perfect. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Anyway, this is all part. You know, Father's Day is coming up. I think uh, this would be a very welcome Father's Day gift, birthday gift. For some. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I. You know, it depends on your dad, but I. I yeah. I don't think dad would take it amiss. No, I think this would be great. If you go to manscaped.com and use the code IOS, you'll get 20% off plus free shipping. That's pretty good. And they have a lot of other stuff, too. Here's the crop mop. But you know what? When you start, you get more fancy. It's like making my masks. I've come up with all sorts of new and exciting variations on manscaping. I want you to experience this for yourself. In all honesty, a great gift. It's fun. You can laugh about it. But at the same time... It's a nice way to give a little nudge, a little hint. It might be time 
during this quarantine to manscape because soon we'll be able to escape and you'll want your house to look a little bit bigger. Trim that junk of yours. Get 20% off plus free shipping. Manscaped.com. Use the code IOS. Manscaped.com. Code IOS. Thank you, Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped. We all, we all got ours at home. This is not my personal Manscaped. This is, this is for the studio. <laughs> now, let's get some news. It's time for the news. Uh, this is an interesting story. I, I feel apparently Apple is reportedly reaching out to publishers uh, to ask permission, essentially, to produce audio versions of articles in Apple News Plus. So essentially podcastinating Apple News Plus articles. Uh, this is this is a fascinating thing to me, Leo. I'm curious, you know, what 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 are your overall thoughts on this? Um, given how Apple News Plus has or has not done well, and uh, if you think that podcasting this, this ties into your that. next story. Actually, do the next story, and then I will explain why Apple News Plus is going audio. Okay, so okay. the next story is uh, this. This is a tweet from the uh, now prolific leaker. Kind of came out of nowhere, in my opinion, uh, for for Apple News, and that's John Prosser at John underscore Prosser on Twitter. Um, I can't believe I'm going against Quo on this one, but I believe he's wrong. Apple glasses are aimed for March through June of 2021, aka a year from now. One year from um, now, and he claims to have seen them. And that they are, and I quote, sleek as hell. So uh, Ming Chi Kuo, we've talked about him before. He's the supply chain guy. Said next, they won't come out till 2022. Then Prosser says, no, no, they're ready. They'll come out in a year. Now this ties back to Apple News Plus. So okay. in fact, we spent. In, if you want to really get a good discussion on it, we spent some time on it with uh, Brianna Wu, Mike Elgin on Twit on uh, Sunday. Uh, talking about this, and I think they had some very, very good thoughts. And one of the things Mike said, and I thought was really right on. Uh, oh, and Dwight Silverman, I almost forgot he was the Houston Chronicle was also there. But uh, Mike said that's the reason for audio, because these are these spectacles, and he believes that they will be as as Prosser fairly sleek. They won't be too embarrassed to wear them. Uh, they will have speakers in the temples, so. It's the it's it's I and I think we all agreed just as the Apple Watch when it first came out was kind of like an adjunct to your iPhone. These mm -hmm. spectacles initially, these AR spectacles will be an adjunct to your iPhone. Um, they'll kind of be your like your AirPods or your AirPods Pro. You'll listen to stuff on them. That's why there's going to be more. Apple wants more audio content. They would like you to consume Apple News while you're walking around wearing the spectacles and maybe. There's a tie-in because, as you know, with AR, you're looking at the world. You see the world, but you see a heads-up display of other things as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that that makes a lot of sense. In fact, what we really concluded is if you look at what Apple's doing in a variety of areas right now, the acquisitions they're making, the people they're bringing in, the features they're adding to other devices, it's all part of positioning itself for the release of what they hope will be the next iPhone. Remember, this is a problem for Apple because the iPhone was so successful, it's hard to come up with a successor. And as they've pretty much sold an iPhone to every human on the planet, <laughs> they can't grow anymore. So there's a lot of pressure on Tim Cook and his team to come up with a next big hit. And very few companies ever do, by the way. That's always a challenge for a company. It's the uh, so-called innovator's dilemma. But I think if they come up with an AR pair of AR glasses that look good, that are stylish, that are functional. They don't have to be, just like the Apple Watch when it first came out, they don't have to be a be-all and end-all. But over time, you know, the Apple Watch has evolved into something that you almost can use standalone and soon will be standalone and has huge mm -hmm. health benefits. I expect the same thing from the spectacles. It was a great conversation um, uh, on last Sunday's Twit, so I recommend it. And honestly, I feel like I'm excited. I feel like if, you know, look, they could fail. Brianna also was talking about Magic Leap. She was very familiar with them, and they've basically, you know, gone under. Right. Um, they've completely pivoted. They're, you know, they're, they're losing money. Uh, they were also doing augmented reality glasses, but they were very, very ambitious. 
I think if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be Apple. They've got the money and they have the technologies. So I yes, and they've been iterating in exactly. in in public. They've exactly. been iterating on this in public exactly. already. So yeah. now it may be that it'll be a developer edition. I mean, we don't know what's going to come out next year. It may not be something for. I would expect it'll be a few years before this will be really something you want to use. But still, I'd love to see it. Were, I'll buy a developer edition. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the, there were those of us who were early on the Apple Watch, you know, the first generation yeah. model, and it didn't have everything that no. it has now, but. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine to use. Uh, and now, you know, whereas at that point I could go without my Apple Watch and, you know, not necessarily notice it. Now I definitely do notice when I don't have my Apple Watch on. So I'd like for it exactly. to get that way with the AR glasses yep. for exactly. sure. Exactly. Yeah. Given what little hints we've seen of Apple. And it, next we're supposed to be seeing the AR app that Apple is working on that pairs with the, um, LiDAR sensor on the back of the iPad and eventually the iPhone. So there's a lot that, you know, is still in the works even before we get to the glasses stage of things, including um, using that wideband uh, chip, ultra wideband chip uh, in the iPhone. I mean, it's you clearly are seeing these steps that are being taken yeah. as we are leading up to this. That's so. a perfect example. That U1 chip, you put it in your glasses, it knows where you're looking. Mm hmm. You need that technology, don't you? You need cameras, yeah. but you, a U1 chip would also be very useful. And if you're looking for something, maybe a, I'm looking for where I know Micah's here somewhere in a crowd, and the glasses could say he's over there and steer. I mean, come on. Or you you get a an Uber and you don't you There's walk out car. of the airport. Which yep. one's my Uber? You get the right one. That's a safety consideration think too. Think about this. Which yeah, I love. this. I really think there's something going on here. Yeah, I'm excited. It should be very cool. Uh, I also wanted to mention uh, Apple, again, has released the Pride Band uh, in preparation. June is usually Pride Month, um, but there are some a few new bands out. There's the like Nike the Plus version. What and I the love the Nike Plus version. The Nike Plus one is the one that I ended up getting. Um, so I like subtle. It. It's beautiful. It looks like a traditional Nike band. They're two-tone. You know, they're white. Or black, but they have holes with color. In this case, the rainbow colors of Pride Week. I yeah, think this the, looks gorgeous. I that think one's so much so better. Nice. I swear. So the way that I described the first one, which there's a conversation I want to have in just a moment about it, but um, it looks like a parent who, uh, you know, it just got <laughs> off the the Zoom call for work, goes to their kid who is doing something they shouldn't be doing and hands them a bunch of uh, tubs of Play-Doh. Yeah. And then the kid puts the Play-Doh together it's, and pushes it through the yeah. Play-Doh extruder. It's the Laffy Taffy of watch bands. It is. And look at how the bands are uneven. I don't know if you saw this, Leo, but there's a, a, a sort of conversation going around because Apple on its page, it says each of these bands is handcrafted. And oh. so those variations are unique. Oh, and someone yeah. said, oh, no. Or there was an error in manufacturing oh. and you decided to say that it, it was oh. a unique handcrafted look so I'm, I'm not about that band personally but i do this really one like looks great nike plus one. Yeah, yeah that's really and i do like these nike plus bands i think i might get this one yeah looks nice and as per usual uh, a portion of the proceeds will go to benefit lgbtq plus advocacy groups uh just as they have in in years past so what's uh, the that, new it's lbgtq and then there's uh, like, what is it, A or ally for an ally? I think A, yeah. Yeah, so I, I can wear this as an ally, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. I, and that, yeah, I, I think I don't, I personally, so I've been asked this actually from, you know, folks who don't identify as LGBTQ. Uh, is it okay? Can I wear I'm, this band? There's no gatekeeping here. <laughs> there's no gatekeeping here. It's okay here. to wear the band. It's a nice yeah. band. <laughs> it's a nice band. And by the way, when you purchase it, you are donating to a charity, so Good cause. Or, or an that's right. group. So yeah, and they add you to the book. <laughs> you're now in the yeah. book, so yeah. just you know, it's okay. You're part of my agenda. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Uh, let's do one more uh, commercial because, or do you want to do, let's do the questions let's and then the, the commercial. And then, okay, yes. good, good. That was my thinking too. We're on the same page same here. Same page. Uh, so this is Tony from Oregon, and Tony writes in to ask. Which home security cameras do you recommend? Ah. In particular, which cameras will work with Apple's new iCloud plan where they store an amount of video recording for free? I know Apple lists camera companies, but I'd like to know which ones will not share data with companies with or with the authorities. I'll be buying my first house with my partner in the coming year, and we would like to begin our preparation for a smart and secure 
home. Well, Tony, I've got good news for you. I have the camera to recommend to you. Uh, and I've actually two now. So Logitech has for the longest time made the Logitech Circle camera. And it is the camera that I have had and used for a long period of time. And I have a, a Nest cam. I have a cam from, um, oh golly, I can't think of the TP-Link. And I have another one, its brand escapes me. And then I have the Logitech one. Logitech Circle Camera is the only one I've never had connectivity issues with. I've never ran into problems with upgrades to the firmware, no issues with the microphones, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so on the face of it, I recommend that product. Secondly, it is the most versatile camera because Logitech does this clever thing where they no, make- No, he said security cameras. They make security cameras? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and so I'm, I'm going to because you're to that. using a Logitech camera right now, but it's not. It's a webcam. No, no, no. I'm not talking about my Logitech webcam. I'm talking about the Logitech oh. Circle camera. Oh, the that Circle. Is the yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And so it, uh, the, the, they do a very clever thing where they make the base unit, and then you buy the part that connects to it. Uh, you, you can get the default one where it's just a, a you know a a USB cord that leads from it and you can place it somewhere, but they also have a magnetic mount. They have a mount that lets you stick it in a window on the inside and it has suction cups and a way to keep the, the glare from coming in. They have ones for outside. I mean, it is a brilliantly designed, uh, modular camera that is excellent. Now, Logitech added support for what uh, Tony here is asking about, which is Apple's sec HomeKit Secure Video uh, System. And when I made that upgrade, that installation of the firmware, it changed the way that the camera interacts with the system. It doesn't contact Logitech anymore if I choose for it not to do so. Uh, it, and so you'd have to install firmware updates yourself. But if that's a management choice that you want to make, then that's totally fine. It will still work. And so if you're looking for a way to have a secure camera that doesn't connect with the outside world and you want it to work with HomeKit's secure video platform, the Logitech Circle Cam and the new one that just came out that is privacy. I mean, they've got privacy practically every other word. Um, uh, Matthew Casanelli and I just talked about this yesterday on Smart Tech Today, and I am stalling a little bit for time because I'm trying to remember what the about, name of the model. What about uh, the Wise Cam? Because one of the advantage, of course, the Wise Cams are cheap, twenty dollars, thirty dollars. The one that pans is, is thirty dollars. The, the one that just looks is twenty dollars. It can be turned into a webcam now, which is kind of cool these days. It it's is. hard to get them, and it doesn't upload to the cloud. So privacy isn't an issue. It keeps track. Uh, you, you can put a card in and record locally, or you can look at the camera through your phone, but Wise doesn't store your video. I know it's yes. not HomeKit enabled, and I know that that's, you know, he mentioned HomeKit, mm -hmm. but, but what if you didn't have it stored on iCloud at all? What if it just, you know, to me, that's the most private. Right. So, you know, to that, that doesn't fit Tony's uh, description. He really wants he to put wants. it on, on the cloud, huh? To have Apple's, yeah, iCloud plan. Yeah. But yes, I agree with you. If you're looking for one that does not have any upload to the cloud, then uh, the WiseCam is a great option because of the price and the fact that you can store it locally on the card. So again, you know, Tony, you, you need to think about what exactly you're looking for. But I can hands down say that the Logitech Circle and now the Logitech Circle View is the new one that uh, Logitech just announced. Those cameras are, you know, if the, if, if the circle view is built on the platform that they've already created with the Logitech circle, it has been an excellent steadfast camera in my home that I is one of the first things that I set up whenever I've, you know, entered into a new place. Um, so that's the one that I would recommend for sure. Cool. Uh, next, th next topic comes from Van from Virginia. And this is just an excellent uh, bit of feedback that I wanted to talk about on this episode in particular because we are doing the we were doing the apps for Apple Pencil. So Van says, "You and Leo seem to be enjoying the iPad's Magic Keyboard as I am. Here is another way to use the keyboard that I haven't yet heard you mention. Remove the iPad. Let me unplug it here. Remove the iPad from the magnets on the keyboard." and place the bottom edge of the iPad on the slot between the spacebar and the trackpad. 
So right in this little divot here and then rest the iPad back. Uh, the iPad will now be in a more convenient position for drawing with the Apple Pencil or perhaps other uses. So there's what it looks oh, like in that position. Oh, you're so right. And more to the point, more useful for me to show on the show. That's a yes. much better angle. And because of the hinge of on the back, you can adjust that hinge back there to change how far up or down it tilts. Look at that. Didn't even think of that. That's so and cool. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Yes. And by so, the way, uh, our friend uh, Gary uh, desperately wanted one of these keyboards. Uh -huh. And he said, where can I get it? I said, well, you know, I think they're out of stock everywhere. But he found it at the Apple store. And he sent along pictures. I thought you'd oh? be interested of what it looked like when he picked it up. Because he ordered Whoa. it at the Apple store. And as you can see, they have a purchase pickup. You know, the stores are still not open. There's the Apple employee in his mask. He's got sanitizer. There's Gary's purchase. I think this is really kind of cool. Wow. Apple's, Apple's really doing a great job. And here are all the, uh, the blue-shirted employees ready to... Wheeling to, it out on a cart for you yeah, to grab so that yeah. they're not even holding the handles. They don't even touch it. Yeah. Wow. So just this a, is cool. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Thank you, Gary, for letting me uh, share those. He, uh, he he said you can share them if you want uh, pictures. So he was very excited. And now I'm even more excited now that I know I can prop that right there. That's much better yeah. for the show. Thank you. Good yeah, tip. Thank you, Van. Yeah, Van. All right. Let's take a break <sighs> and uh, come back with our app. Caps. I'm at it again. More domains. More Always domains. more domains. I got Leo.fm. I like it. Oh, you should. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad no one's good. ever claimed that one. No before. one's that's ever. That's a good one. I, in fact, that's what I did yesterday. I made a new site with Leo.fm. No static at all, which is kind of a joke because it's actually it's a, it's a static site. But <laughs> the I thought <laughs> the, it's also a play on radio, right? It's, yeah. FM. And there was a Steely Dan song called FM. No static at all. FM. Okay. So it's it's a multi-layered old timers joke. But where do I go to get my domains? Hover.com, of course. I have so many. And that's one of the fun things. When you're setting up a new site or you've got an idea for a business, uh, to have a domain name that reflects you. For instance, all my photo photographs are on SmugMug. But... I went to Hover and bought Leo.camera. And so if you go to Leo.camera, there's my smug mug a portfolio. In fact, for a portfolio for an artist, the dot art domain would be fantastic. In fact, you could even set it up that you'd have dot art and then have a different domain for each uh, painting, for instance. Or you could have uh, Leo's photos dot art and Leo's paintings dot art, Leo's masks dot art. Hover is a great place to go to register all your domain names. Look, this is a vulnerable time for us. We all need each other more than ever. Creating a domain name, creating a new website, creating a new portfolio is a great way to share, you know, your experience with the rest of the world, but you want a domain name that represents you. That's And by the way, Hover works great with every site. You can choose from over 400 plus domain name extensions. Dot pizza, dot ninja, dot democrat, dot republican. You can sh fly your flag <laughs> high when building your brand online. No matter what you want to build, there's a domain name waiting for it. I think sometimes people say, oh, all the good domain names are taken. Well, maybe. Hover's got a lot of dot coms. I couldn't get leo.com. But I got Leo.fm. I kind of like it. If you're an artist, create a domain that showcases your talent talent with the .art domain. I can go on and on and on. Hover makes it very easy. There's no upsell, not a lot of check boxes. They don't, they don't do hosting, so they're trying to sell you a bunch of stuff. You get domain who is privacy free. It's part of the deal. They don't upsell you on that. Uh, I just think Hover is a great place to go. Get your creative juices flowing create a new business, create a, a diary, you know, do something fun. And it's one of the things I love to do is put up new sites. Clean, easy to navigate uh, UI. 
Uh, you can get a monthly sales on popular top-level domains, so it's worth checking back every month to see, you know, oh, what's on sale today. Uh, and, and by the way, if you're doing hosting or you're doing email, having a dedicated domain name that you own is not owned by the hosting company, is not owned by the email company, is really important. It means you can move around. You're not stuck at any one place. Don't let somebody else buy your domain name for you. You get it yourself at hover.com slash twit. Show your passion. Fly your flag. Hover.com slash twit. In fact, right now you'll get 10% off your first purchase of any domain extension for the whole first year. Hover.com slash twit. I'm pretty proud of, uh, of the sites that I've created. I have a lot of sites. Uh, in fact, you know, I have a Minecraft server. Mm -hmm. for the kid and i said what do you want what's the domain name what do you want and he gave me a name i'm not gonna say it out loud because you know it's private but uh right. he said i want to call it this and i said okay and we did we bought the domain name and that's and it's great because he can tell his friends this is where my minecraft server is i just love that hover.com slash twit got a wedding coming up great place to get a domain set up for that got there's a, a dot birth. mom domain dot mom you should get your mom Micah's dot mom. Dot mom. <laughs> she, she probably loved that. I originally, oh, this Leo.fm, I originally set it up as Leo-ish. That didn't work because it was L-E-O-I dot S-H. So I ended up changing it to Leo.fm. I was up in the middle of the night doing that. I like Leo.fm. I think it's good, good isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is just a, a, a static, fast, quick site. It's running over there on that machine over there. Hovers the place. I do it all the time. I hover all the time. Hover.com slash twit. 10% off your first purchase of any domain extension for the entire first year. Oh, you're wearing a deer stalker. Are you Sherlock Sargent? <laughs> Micah Holmes. Micah Holmes. I am wearing... I don't know what this is. <laughs> I watched <laughs> I watched Zorro the other night, and I, I, I guess I gravitated toward the Zorro hat. <laughs> hey! <laughs> So we wear these funny hats because we celebrate our app caps, the picks of the week. And I'll let Mr. Holmes start. I am so excited about this. I've gotten so much use out of it over the past week. We're sheltering in place right now. Oh, let me plug my iPad back in. I unplugged it for that demonstration earlier. Um, for $3.99, $3.99, you too can... Here we go. Okay. Play. Mm, almost there. Splash screen. Splash Marmalade. Screen. No. Monopoly. No, Monopoly. Monopoly. You know what? This with is the best way to play family. Monopoly. No fussing around with the money. No trying to find the houses. You know, the worst thing in the world is after a long game of Monopoly, and one of those little green houses, you accidentally let it fall on the sofa, and then you sit on it the next night. It's, ow! Ow! This won't happen. With, this will not happen. So there are Monopoly. multiple modes of Monopoly, including quarantine mode. But you can play it by yourself against the computer. Uh, you can set up characters for AI. There's online multiplayer where you play with strangers. There's pass and play where if you were in person with others, then you just pass around the iPad to play. Or online with friends, which is what I I uh, got. How fun. I, I gifted a couple of, of nice. these Monopolies to some family members. And then my partner and I from my home and my family members from their respective locations were able to play all together. That's great. Anytime uh, you have eight or nine hours to kill, man, there's nothing so like a Monopoly game. This is the other good thing is that when you play, so I'm just going to do this really quick. You can play with the classic rules, yes. the authentic rules of Monopoly or yes. a quick version oh. so that it doesn't take, or you can do house rules. So it turns out there there's there used to be and it probably is still up there there's this uh, article where somebody got very upset about how monopoly seems to always take 12 years and it yeah. turns out that nobody was following the rules no of you're supposed to, yes i know nobody follows the rules correctly a monopoly game should not take that long and so if you play this the classic rules i think it ended up taking us about an hour of really? play time to what is the it. what is the one rule people don't adhere to uh, well, one of the things is that they think that, uh, the money that you pay to community, uh, with the community chest card yeah. and the chance card is supposed yeah. to go into free parking. And then when people land on free parking, they the get kitty? that money. That is not yeah. a real rule. Where is and it supposed to go? 
it's supposed to just go back to the bank. Go to the bank. Yeah. And then there are some rules surrounding, uh, you know, you can, where you can let people not have to pay where you say, oh no, you get a free pass this time. You can do that. Why would you yeah. ever do that? The rule I think people that is most often, uh, not honored is the rule that if you don't buy a property, then another player can buy it. That it, wait, if you don't buy a property, if I land on Pennsylvania Avenue and I don't have enough money or I don't want it, uh -huh. Then an auction it goes to auction. Yeah, an auction occurs, and the other players yes. get to bid on it. That speeds yes. the game up a lot, I would guess. Yes, and that yeah. the classic version has the auction, the auction. Uh, yeah. thing set up in it. And I so yeah, that, most people right, don't know that. Thing. Yeah, and then also um, one of the things that we always did that I didn't realize is that you that the actual classic rules of Monopoly say that you have to own all of the properties to build. before you can start putting it says yeah, that on the freaking on. card you didn't know that no listen <laughs> it says on the card you must own all properties to develop no that's not how we played <laughs> anyway but this is how we play now so this, that actually should speed the game up i would think yeah, exactly that's yeah. the one thing i was yeah. thinking that oh wow i don't have to own all the places and then you can end up doing you know trades and i'll give you a get out of jail right. free card and some money for this or whatever one thing um, that should be banned is what lisa and michael always do to me which is gang up Oh, <laughs> well, we had to do that with uh, Sebastian because he has won both uh, uh, both of the last two rounds of oh. Monopoly. And so I talked with my sister. Can I and my play mom with you said, the next time you do this? Can I play yeah, online with you? you? I'll send you a code. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I'll need. buy it. I don't mind buying it. No, no, no. That's what, but I have to send you the room code oh, is what I mean. The room code. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. once you buy it, I'll send you, you know, let me know. I'll send that you would the room be code fun. And then you have Zoom fired up while you're doing that so that you could talk and, and you know, kibitz. So I was going to, this is, that was going to be my one uh, complaint about this is that you, there are multiple things you have to understand is that one, there's no chat feature or anything like that, which I understand why it's to keep kids safe who are playing yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they did add, they just recently added a reaction thing. So there's sort of built in chat communication what? that you can do. <laughs> Hurry up or yes or no. And then the other thing you need to understand is that if you pop out of this, if you, you know, go to your messages or you pop out to read Twitter really quick while it's not your turn, it will replace you with an AI oh, that will geez, play while you're gone. So no one will know you're gone. No, you do know because it goes from your oh, name as okay. a username to just like dog or depending on what your, now, your is character this is. Official. This is from Parker Brothers. This is the official monopoly. This is from Hasbro. Oh, yeah. Hasbro owns it now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. And uh, along with this, so this one's three ninety nine. There's another one that's three ninety nine. It's Clue. Yes, you can play the classic love Clue. Clue. Board game. I love Clue too. Oh, we man. ended up getting that one as well. Miss Scarlet uh, in the living room with the lead pipe. It always is. And it's got Every all time. of those features. Uh, and so that was a lot of fun. We loved Clue. And then they also have the Game of Life. Uh, I think that one's available for two ninety nine as opposed to three ninety nine, and yeah. So there are some in app purchases, but they're not necessary. Once you buy the game, you can play online with friends. The in app purchases are silly in my opinion, and it's just for changing the look of the board. So it doesn't add any other features other than changing the look of the board. Is the but, game oh, of look, life they've got the uh, the too. Parcheesi ripoff? I don't know what Parcheesi. <laughs> I know I've heard the name, but I don't know how it's played. So <laughs> okay, Parcheesi is like this ancient game, and then I think Milton Bradley decided to make its own version, so they rebranded Parcheesi. But it's the game of life is the game of life. I think I might be wrong. Oh man! All I know oh, in the game of is life fun. is that you get a career, you have kids. Oh uh, yeah, that's not part cheesy. You literally move through life, and your whole point is to get to retirement at the end. Oh. No, it's part cheesy. <laughs> Which <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, yes. is cheesy is anonymous. This has more stuff going on. If you are looking for something fun to do with family, no matter where they happen to be, uh, the Monopoly, the Game of Life, a Clue, all cool. of those are available. I want to play Monopoly with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we'll invite you to the next one. Yeah. Now, which rules do you do though? Uh, we're we've been doing classic rules classic or rules. quick, classic or quick. Yeah. 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 All right, Leo, what is yours? Can Oh, you sorry. That's the Parcheesi ripoff. Thank you, Knox oh, Harrington. Sorry. sorry is the Parcheesi ripoff. Game of Life is the Candyland ripoff. <laughs> no, it is not. I know. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Our, sorry uh, is so boring. So that means Parcheesi must be boring. Sorry is boring because there's nothing going on. It's just like Parcheesi. Yeah. 
Um, I am a news junkie. Maybe you didn't know that about me. I love yeah. news. I'm always looking at news. One of the things about Twitter that is useful is it's a great place to get news quick, like when it's breaking. In fact, and I'm ashamed to admit this, but if I hear that a celebrity has passed, Fred Willard passed last week, yeah, first right. place I'll go is Twitter, right? That's Same. where you're yeah. going to get the confirmation mm -hmm. uh, faster than you know anywhere. The problem is it's also a cesspool of misinformation, <laughs> strange <laughs> tweets, weird stuff, trolling. It's just, I don't, you know, Twitter's a dumpster fire. And in there, there's good stuff. There is a program created by a friend of mine in fact, he's the guy who started Friendster. Remember Friendster? I do remember Friendster. It's like Parcheesi. Yes, it's, it's a ripoff of Parcheesi, exactly. <laughs> Friendster was the first social network long before Facebook. We all were on Friendster. You might not have been uh, of age. You probably were too young to remember yeah. Friendster. But this is uh, Jonathan's latest. It's called Nuzzle. And in theory, what Nuzzle does is you sign in to your Twitter account with Nuzzle. And it will go through your Twitter account and find the news stories all your friends are retweeting. You don't uh -huh. see the tweets, you see the story. Now, I have Nuzzle set up on my computer right now that way. So these are stories that my friends are tweeting. One of the things that's cool about Nuzzle is you can have a public Nuzzle feed. You can even make a, a newsletter of your favorite stories. But I realized the other day that I hadn't signed up for Nuzzle on my iPad. And so I put it on, actually it was on my iPhone, I put it on my iPhone, and it said, you don't have to sign into Twitter to use Nuzzle. And a light went on. Bing! Bing! Instead of getting the news stories the people I follow, you know, the bubble that I'm in are talking about, Nuzzle can also just get what everybody's talking about on uh, Twitter. So I have set up Nuzzle here. This is I just fresh download, so you can see the experience. You can see sign in with Twitter, and I always did that. But down here, skip. By the way, I love the Nuzzle Hedgehog. Me if you too. skip it, it's now just these are the stories everybody's talking about. I don't want to. Oh, I didn't know you could. Do yes, that. I didn't either. And I'm going to allow it to use the location, although you could also say no to that, and then it would give you stuff. It wouldn't even know where you are. Now, you'll notice down here there are the pictures of people who are tweeting this. But unlike the Nuzzle on my computer, it these are not people I'm necessarily following. And Nuzzle's doing some good curation uh, uh, to make these very good, useful stories. So I think this is a great way... In, you know, I've used Google News and Apple News and so forth. But this is a way to take advantage of the zeitgeist that is Twitter, you know, what people are really talking about right now, and see the stories that are being linked the most. And it's from all the, you know, CNBC, The Atlantic, Bloomberg, The Verge, Wall Street Journal, TechCrunch, so Financial Times. So these are all stories from legitimate quality sources. I'm not sure exactly what Nuzzle's doing to vet them, but obviously it's doing something. There's not, you know, a lot of weird stuff. It's even, you know, I thought, well, maybe if I don't follow my Twitter uh, people, it'll be kind of oddball stuff. But no, it's all mainstream news. But I think also the news that's on the top, it's kind of like, you know, whenever I go to the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal, I'll look at the most read articles or the most emailed articles to see what people are thinking about. This is kind of like that. So number one, wearing a mask can reduce coronavirus transmission by 75%. That is a huge story out of CNBC, and I think well worth reading. I love this Atlantic story. That's the number two story. Never go back to the <laughs> office. At least people don't want to go back, and and they're enjoying it. And Twitter just announced no one has to ever come back to the office. So we don't want you here. We don't want you here. You notice I can share via Twitter or Facebook or just use the share sheet so I could send it to friends. Unlike Apple News, it'll actually share the story. <laughs> the actual article. The yeah. actual article, which I have to say, you know, kudos to Nuzzle. Uh, and when you go to the article, you get the full article. This is the AMP version of the article. Now, I'm, I am a subscriber to The Atlantic, so I'll sign in. But if you're not a subscriber, you know, you may be limited on how many you can read and some of them with the paywalls and so forth. But I am, I am super happy uh, with Nuzzle as a news reader. It doesn't you overwhelm you like many news readers do. By the way, oh, I should also show you. These are some newsletters. These, this is, these are the various tabs. Newsletters that you can follow. 
from people who are very popular. Uh, this is the, the main page, which is the feeds. This is top videos, which are being shared on Twitter right now. And this is the Discover page. So these are also additional pages. If you're on, uh, if you once you sign in, then you'll get tabs like news from friends of friends. You'll get tabs like news you may have missed. In other words, your friends weren't tweeting about this and stories you've recently read. Nuzzle, though, just without signing into Twitter, and you're still going to get this button that says, come on, come on, connect to Twitter. But without signing into Twitter, I think Nuzzle is actually a better newsreader than Apple's News Plus. I really... I, based I really on what like you're it. showing me, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's all quality stories, and I think that's really good. So newsletters, top news, top video, discover. You still have these recently read stories, uh, favorite feeds, and so forth. Uh, people can message you through Nuzzle. There are a lot of other additional features, but this is without having signed in. So it doesn't know who I am. And I, I have to say, I, I think this is particularly useful. I'm never going to sign in Nuzzle on my iPad. By the way, iPad and iPhone versions. So if you like to read the news in a big format on the iPad, which I really do, um, this is really good. So my pick Very of the week. Very nice. Nuzzle. That Nuzzle. <laughs> oh, oh nuzzle maybe that's in. why it's a hedgehog. Because it wants it to nuzzle you. Nuzzles. And you say, no, please don't. Don't nuzzle me, hedgehog. It's painful. <laughs> Ouch. Mr. Micah Sargent. Uh, no, that's you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Mr. Leo Laporte, thank you. How can people get a hold of us if they have a question or they want to, you know, make a comment? They send that to iOS today at twit.tv, and you have been sending some fantastic questions and responses in. So thank you for those. Keep those coming. We love them. Send iOS video. Today we like to see TV. you in your quarantine. Yeah. yeah. In your quarantine yeah. quaffis. Quaffis. Your quarantine coiffure. Uh, we do the show every uh, Tuesday morning. We were a little late today because of the Microsoft Build Conference, but normally 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern time, 1700, or I'm sorry, 1600 UTC. Tune in live at twit.tv slash live. There's audio and video there. If you're doing that, the chat room is there too. They're always there 24-7. Anytime you want somebody to hang out with and talk uh, geeky with irc.twit.tv on demand versions of our shows are always available all the shows at the website twit.tv in this case twit.tv slash ios we're also a youtube channel or just go to the main channel youtube.com slash twit for links to all the other channels uh, and you can ask your amazon echo your your home hub uh, your google voice assistant to play uh, our, all of our shows just say something like, hey, you know who, uh, play the iOS Today podcast. Mm -hmm. And almost always that works. <laughs> Unless she's <laughs> in a bad mood, then you don't know what will happen. Uh, and, of course, if you subscribe in your favorite podcast application, you won't have to worry about all this rigmarole. You'll just have it there ready for your listening enjoyment anytime you're in the mood. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Leo. We'll see you next time on iOS Today. 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 Hey, folks, I am Micah Sargent, co-host of Tech News Weekly right here on the Twit Network. Yes, Tech News Weekly is a show we do every week, Jason Howell and myself, where we talk to people who are making and a break in the tech news. That's right. It's journalists. It's inventors. It's app makers. It's everybody who's bringing the tech news in a given week. It's all the stuff you want to know about in bite-sized chunks in a fantastic package. So be sure to subscribe. It's twit.tv slash TNW.